oh my gosh, we have officially release day, pricing, and pre-order date for the Xbox Series X as well as the more cheaper budget friendly Xbox Series S console. Man, you don't know how pumped I am. But anyway, let's discuss on this video. So, this is probably the longest wait that we have ever waited for of pricing, release date, and pre-order details of any new console generation ever. Where the PS4 and Xbox One started back in the summertime, which it's still technically summertime, but we are literally right on the edge of fall, so... It's pretty much basically fall already because we're actually starting to get temperatures and whatnot outside dropping down. But this is the longest wait that we have ever waited for for details about a next console generation coming up. And today we officially gotten the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. Well, pretty much the next generation Xbox consoles of their details. Yesterday, Microsoft announced that the Xbox Series S was real, and my gosh, that console looks completely different than what a lot of the rumors and speculations were actually counting it to be, but it still looks like a very, very great console, and I have got plans to get both of the X and the Series S, and I'm going to do unboxing video and we'll do, you know, test runs and all that. But today is officially the day that Microsoft has officially announced that pricing of the two consoles and the release dates as well as the pre-order date. Okay, so both of the consoles, the Xbox Series S is going to be capped at $299 for as much powerful as it is i mean it's not going to be as powerful as the series x but with the tech that's put into it for 300 dollars, that's a pretty heck of a deal if you honestly ask me 1440p gaming and next gen experience at 60 to 120 you know hertz frames per second that's really really one heck of a deal and for those of you that only have 1080p screens, well, you're still going to get a next-gen experience. But but for those of you that are like me that have a 4K TV but doesn't want to go all out with the more expensive console, well, the Xbox Series S is going to basically be able to play at 1440p natively resolution with upscale to 4K. So you're basically going to get a really good overall great pretty picture overall. So the Xbox Series S, those are the details of it. And like I said, for $300, that's one heck of a deal if you really, really ask me. And I honestly think that Microsoft may actually win this generation because of the Series S. Just with the price of it. Oh my gosh, I think Microsoft has really did it. But... Also, the Xbox Series X is actually been officially confirmed, and this is the pricing that I, you know, I expected it to be. Now, there was a leak rumor from Monster that had a certain number, and if you did the math, it would have made the Series X come out to about 599 US dollars. And I was thinking to myself, like, there's no way that the Series X is going to be literally $600. Like, there's just no way. But it has been official today, and this is what most rumors and speculations, and this is the pricing that I personally expected it to be. But they also announced today that the Xbox Series X is going to be $500, $499 US dollars. And 
that's also a pretty good price for the amount of tech that's put inside the Series X. You're getting 8K upscaling, which not a lot of people are really going to, you know, care about 8K, especially right now, and there's not going to be games that will support 8K, at least not for quite a few years, at least from now. But even if you did get an 8K TV, you will get 8K upscaling. So you got also what it's going to run at mostly native 4K on all games, not like the Xbox One X or PS4 Pro where you have to have enhancements or whatnot for games. The majority of games are literally going to basically run at a true 4K resolution at 120 frames per second and some games will only be able to do 60 frames a second and the ssds that's put inside of these consoles bro you just you really don't know how incredible this is and the official release date is going to be november 10th that is the official release date for both the xbox series s and the xbox series x so that is comes up to a tuesday which if you really think about it that was what the day of the week that the xbox one x launched back on november 7th of 2017 so it makes perfect sense that they're releasing it on a tuesday so the xbox series s and xbox series x the series s is 300 dollars. the xbox series x is 500 dollars. they both are coming out on november 10th 2020 and then the pre-order dates start September 22nd. Man, you just... I've really got my wallet ready. And as soon as that day hits, the first thing I do when I get up, I am literally marching down to GameStop. And even if they don't open within a couple of hours, I will literally sit there and literally wait for them to open up. Just so I'm first in line to basically go and pre-order the Xbox Series X. Like, you don't know how pumped I am right now. But Microsoft literally today just dropped the ball. The Series S, like I mentioned, is $299. The Series X is $499. Both are launching on November 10th on the Tuesday. And the pre-order start September 22nd on that is also on a Tuesday as well. But we still do not have nothing about the PlayStation 5, but there has been a lot of rumors and speculations that today we're going to be getting something about the PlayStation 5 for its pre-orders and its launch day. And if it's true that the PS5 is launching on November 13th and you got the Series X and Series S coming on the 10th, that's 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 a great competition right there side by side not getting a left out while the Xbox Series X and S will have like three days of a head start. But you get my point. Like it's not going to be like the PS4 where it had a whole week of a head start and then you got the Xbox 360 which had an entire year of a head start. They're basically launching side by side and I really cannot wait to get my hands on both the Series X and PS5 and then also get the Series S at some point in time. But it has been official today. Microsoft dropped the ball, and those are the dates and the pricing for these next-gen Xbox consoles. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, please hit a like if you enjoyed this content. Subscribe for those of you that are new to the channel, and I will be sure to keep you guys posted with more gaming content in the future. And also, send me down in the comment section down below of your thoughts if you are very, very hyped for either the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X. And if you think that the pricing is actually really good for what they actually are both confirmed being. So, just send me down in the comment section down below of your thoughts of the video. Hit a like if you enjoy it. Con subscribe for those of you that are new. And we will be sure to catch you guys out on the next video. So, peace.